it's your girl Simply Erica coming to you guys with another wig review. So if you want to learn, if you want to learn more, then you stay tuned and check it out. <laughs> oh yeah. So. I know that you guys have been seeing that I've been reviewing the Friday Night Hair Units. Y'all know, like I said, I'm addicted. So they sent me another wig, of course. So, I had the opportunity to ask to review the GLS26. Um, there's not too, too many videos on them, um, you know, so I thought I'd do a review. The thing about this wig is nothing special. It's just long and straight, you know. Um, kind of simple. Great for date nights or if you're feeling an extra, you know, flowy in the wind type extra. This is a great wig for you. The downside about this wig, it's synthetic and straight. And you know what that means? Tangling! So when that happens, you're going to get a lot of tangling right there. And you kind of can see it matting up. It's in the color 1B. That's the sucky part about their company. They need more colors. I wish I was able to order them, you know, maybe in a blonde or a brown, you know, just whatever color you like. But on the flip side, they have good, they're very good quality synthetic wigs. And let me tell you why. Um, for those of you who have not been watching me and this is your first time, these wigs are very high quality because of the hairline. Not too many um, synthetic hair units have that good quality hairline. And it's really hard to tell. Like, if you pluck it enough, it's hard. You can't even see where the wig begins. Like, you really have to pluck it, you know, put your powder or concealer on it, and it's just gonna match right up. And then the wig is long, y'all. It's inches. A little bit better than Yaki 30, I will say that. And, like, because it's not a little bulky, it actually lays pretty flat. However, I wish the parting space could be better. You only getting this much parting space, y'all. And you can't part it, it's like um, a closure. So you can't part it in multiple little, er like this area, about an inch of parting. I wish it went straight back a little further. That way it give it an even more realistic feel. But you know, we can't have it all. I do like the fact that it's long. Um, it kind of gives that exotic feel. Um, if you're looking for something like that, uh, it is heat safe. So if you want to make it bone straight, you have the ability to do that with uh, using it to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, no higher than that, or else it will melt. Just saying, because we we probably all have made that mistake before. <laughs> yeah, this wig is a shedder. I have worn her for this past day now, and when I brushed her, she was shedding, she was tangling, she even tried to get a little stiff on me already. So you know, that's kind of an ill with that. But I wouldn't wear this wig every day. I would say that you, like I said, you probably have to wear this wig like, you know, special occasions or, you know, I'm just whipping around just so I can stunt on these. Yeah, watch my mouth. But just so I can stunt, you know. <laughs> It's very, it's a cute natural wig. I will say that. Just not something for every day because it's straight. But if you want to keep brushing and keep um, straightening it with a hot iron, baby, you going right ahead. Just I watch you. You are going to get two combs on the side, one in the back with adjustable straps. Now, if you're somebody who hates combs, feel free to use the Got to Be Glue Gel. I feel like for beginners, this is a good way to use that wig. I mean, use this wig for that. Um, just start with synthetic wigs, trying to get acquainted to that. This probably would be a good use. With the lace, you are going to get hard lace. And it's that hard, itchy lace. I know some of you ladies don't like it, but it, like I always say, just cut it closest to, you know, the hairline. And you probably won't even feel it. But it, it just depends on your tolerance level. Kind of like that exotic type Pocahontas hair. Better than the Yaki 30, I will say that. Better than the Yaki 30. A little bit more pricey because it is $50, but I say it's worth it because of the hairline. Um, it is a yakky texture, but you know, it's better. So I will leave a link for you ladies to buy it down below. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye ladies.